Here's a full shot of the project I'm working on at this point. It's a house address sign to put on the side of a house uh, with the address numbers there. You can see the frame is made up of a Celtic knot style uh, design with some uh, fine ridges in the corners there. So I'll zoom in and uh, get started carving here. You can see I already got started a little bit on this knot and zoomed in you can see a bit closer now the uh, ropes or the lines on the Celtic knot area is actually made up of kind of one main cord through there and then there's two thin cuts off to the side of that that produces this thin outline on either side of it so that's what I'm working on right now is on this uh, section of knot doing those thin outlines and one thing to definitely be aware of in that process is making sure to get those lines nice and straight because with it being as thin as it is any uh, deviation becomes pretty apparent and can often be uh, tidied up a little bit but there's obviously not a whole lot of wood to work with on this small scale Here I can see I got off the line uh, too far on this side that if I continue over here I'm not going to really have much of this outer line uh, coming through. So I might hold off on that and see if I can uh, do something different if I need to glue that or just bring that line in. I think things didn't quite line up on the pattern there the way I ended attended. It's also a little bit tricky with the light reflecting to see those pattern lines real clearly. Now while it's ideal to have these lines all nice and even and straight one um, kind of consolation or benefit is being up on the wall of the house outside, people aren't really going to be handling it uh, up close a lot. So there probably is a little bit of uh, grace for less perfectness or uh, evenness in all of the chips. It'll be kind of taken in more altogether uh, rather than looking at the individual components once it's up outside.
you can see when I get to these curved parts, I'm actually mostly holding my hand and the knife still and curving the wood underneath to make sure I can get a nice smooth, even curve. this line a little bit, a little extra material right there. This piece is a little bit uh, bigger and harder to kind of maneuver on the desk here, so forgive me if I struggle to keep it in frame. But I like to do the cuts that are closest to this thin line in the middle first, because that's going to be the kind of unforgiving one once I cut on the inside of that line, that's going to define the thickness, and if I need to make any adjustments to the outside of that part, then I can, but if I do something wrong on the outside line, I can't really make any adjustments to the inside.
little bit thin into that middle line on that last cut so just looking at that here to kind of examine where I need to make adjustments on this next cut On some of these I'm intentionally carving my first chip a little bit thinner than maybe I intend it to, to be when I'm done. So that gives me a little bit of wiggle room to work with and figure out where to cut the extra material out. And, you know, I'm trying to get it pretty close here while I'm carving, but I'm not going to worry about being super exact on every single cut. I'm going to kind of go with it uh, for now and uh, see what it looks like once it's done. See if anything stands out to me as needing any adjustments or uh, just if I notice any particular things once it's in its more final form, then I can make those. But every time you go back into a cut that you've already made that's in decent shape if it's not quite perfect you risk making it worse and I've done that a number of times that I regretted trying to make it better after the fact because it only got worse I think we'll call that good for now, give the knife a quick sharpen up and continue on.